Alright, to connect a Bluetooth controller like the DualShock 4 here, what you're going to do is use your wired controller or keyboard, whatever you have set up. Go to the RetroPie, select Bluetooth. Then at this screen, you're going to have to put your controller in pair mode, so hold the share and the PlayStation button until it starts to flash. Then you hit register and connect on your wire controller. Okay, and it should be wireless controller. Select OK. You want no input, no output. Hit OK successfully registered. So now you still got to use your wire controller. Just hit OK. Go to cancel. Back out of here to the main menu. Hit your start button. Go to configure input. Yes. Okay now it says hold A, bu a button. I always map the circle to the A, so I hold it. Then you go through this, your D pad up, D pad down, left, right. I do options as start, share as select, A, B, X, Y. And you can do those however you want, but that kind of lines up with the Super Nintendo controller. So then you hit your left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger, left thumb as you click it down, right thumb, click it, left analog up. Okay, once you get through that, then you hit OK with your wire controller. It should go back to here. Then you just back out of this. And now, you should be able to work it with your DualShock. And if you get into a game and decide you don't like how the buttons are laid out, you can configure it however you want. You just go back out, hit your start, go to configure input, and select it how you want it. You're ready to game. Alright, I appreciate you checking out the video on how to set up the DualShock 4. Um, if you have any other questions, any other videos you want to uh, suggest for me to do, just uh, leave a comment below and uh, make sure and hit the like button and subscribe and I'll keep a few more videos coming for these old school entertainment systems. Peace.